So hi there again everyone, this is again Alan and welcome to my channel. I know you guys are all excited today because today is the announcement of our Daniel Smith watercolor set giveaway winner. But before that, I'd like to show you first the process on making our first ever landscape study. It's not focusing. So this is our finished painting and I'm gonna be showing you first the process on making this before I announce the winner. So I hope you don't skip because I believe you're gonna get something from this. Anyway, this is just gonna be very quick. So here's the demonstration. For our landscape watercolor studies, I have chosen to use the Phoenix watercolor pad. This is the same pad that I use for our floral studies. And since I got two, I have decided to use the other one for the landscape studies. This is not the first time I'm using this because uh, I got too excited to use it right away the moment I bought it so I, I had a sample here and um, so for this study the study number one I have chosen to use Daniel Smith watercolors and I chose only four colors and these four colors are included in my giveaway so the four colors that I've chosen for this study are the French ultramarine quinacridone coral yellow ochre and raw umber so why only four colors it is simply because, as a watercolor artist, I believe it is always a good exercise to go back to practicing mixing your colors to achieve your desired palette. And I believe this limited palette is enough for me to, to achieve my desired colors because I have here the primary colors. I have the ultramarine for my blue, the quinacridone coral for my red, yellow ochre for my yellow, and the raw umber as an extra color and as an earth color and i also believe that in almost any form of art it's not always the choice of color or it's not always the intensity of color or the right color that you use but more on the lighting and the values you apply in your painting because when you use proper values you will achieve weight and depth in your painting and that will make an appealing and effective image for your viewers so for this study i'm choosing to use uh, raphael cat's tongue and my silver black velvet brushes so now i will be putting my paints in my palette with some gaps for color mixing. So now let's color first our chart. So I'm gonna be trying to finish this very quickly because I want to just paint a wash type of uh, landscape painting but if ever there are parts that I think are very idle or boring I will be just speeding it up to at least 10 times so I think we're ready so let's start so for the sky I am wetting the sky part first For me, I uh, always start painting the sky and followed by the ground part. So I'm using French Ultramarine. I'm trying to angle the the pad so that um, the paints will flow by itself naturally. I will be using yellow ochre for a warm horizon. Let's see if this is gonna look too earthy. I hope not. 
And some Kinaridon coral here. So if you want to achieve cloud patches, you can lift some colors out. So for the ground part, I am using again very lightly uh, yellow ochre. And for some parts, I am using a heavier mixture of um, yellow ochre and raw umber. For the mountain, of course, I'm using the usual color I use, uh, a muted purple, using ultramarine, pinacrylon coral, and raw umber. And to show distance, I am drawing some horizontal lines to show some plants grasses and later on some trees to show the distance or the difference of the distance in this part to the parts that are nearer to the viewer. Now let's get back to our mountain to show more uh, shape So there's an ant sabotaging my my work So now I think we're ready to do or to paint our trees or more detailed trees So let's start in our more distant uh, trees so first I am painting the trunks and we'll add the branches and leaves later so I don't always use um, an absolute green for my trees. I always use a mixture of an earthy yellow and a blue. Or if there's a convenience color, I use um, what do you call this? Greenish umber or perylene green. So here are our trees so this green uh, appears almost like a black a greenish uh, gray color so for me it's okay that the background or the mountain is still wet because I intentionally did that to let the colors of the trees mix with our um, wet background and that is to show that that tree is far because it's not very detailed it's not very clear it's a little bit blurred and of course let's not forget putting the shadows later on Let's put a tree here that is a little bit nearer. So now let's put uh, the bigger tree here to break the perspective. 
so let's first put the trunk somewhere here okay because it's the nearest tree so it practically it's the biggest one So for now, while waiting for this part to dry a bit, let's first color the shadows of the trees we had here. And for that, I am using the same mixture we used in the mountain, but this time um, with a bigger, or I mean, with a mass tone. So now I think we're ready to paint the leaves of the nearest tree. So first we paint with the lightest green that we have. So now we are almost done. We're not we're now just going to be putting some more details on the street. And maybe add some fence here, broken fence. So now we're done with our landscape painting, our study number one. And it's funny because I forgot to use the Raphael cat's tongue. But anyway, that only proves that uh, the silver black velvet number 10 is enough and it's versatile for this, for this study. Though I wish I have used a thinner or a more fine brush for, for the wire of the fence. But anyway, I'm happy with this i am happy that we are able to pull out this um this uh, landscape the colors that we had using the limited palette the limited uh, colors that we had so i hope you got something now we are about to announce the winner the one that you're you have been waiting for so let's go so thank you for watching the demonstration i hope you guys got something and um before I announce the winner, I'd like to thank each one of you who shared the giveaway. Uh, all the artists who submitted, thank you very much for the support and for sharing your artworks. I really appreciate and I really respect each one of you. Um, all in all, we got 26 uh, artworks and um, these are from 24 different artists. So, thank you very much. Hats off to all of you. I believe everyone knows that there's just gonna be one winner here and I do hope that those who won't be chosen won't feel offended, won't feel bad against me or against their their talent. I hope you don't doubt, doubt yourself, your skills and anyway this is just a giveaway, this is just a game. I just want to promote my, my page, I just want to share what I have and um, you're all talented don't ever you know question your skill it's just so happened that the person that i chose today is uh i think the person who deserves it more at this 
time and uh, yeah, at this moment. And um, let's just be happy and continue spreading colors and positivity through our watercolor paintings. And finally, here now is the announcement of our winner. Drum rolls, please. <laughs> so, the winner for our Daniel Smith Watercolor Set giveaway is no other than Ronel Garcia Momar. Congratulations, Ronel. You just won yourself a new Daniel Smith Watercolor Set, an Arto watercolor paper for sheets, and a red sable brush. So, um, congratulations. I believe you are from Bohol, so you got lots of beautiful landscapes there. And so, I hope to see more landscape paintings coming from you because this set is perfect for landscapes. And to the other uh, artists uh, who participated, thank you for joining. Um, to everyone, thank you for your support and um, thank you for watching. And see you again next week.